Tonight's video is an intro to algebra. What is algebra anyway? Algebra is a language, a mathematical language of symbols. So what is a variable? A variable is a symbol, usually a letter, used to represent a number. An equation is a mathematical sentence that contains an equal sign. For example, 5 plus 7 equals 12. 9 times 4 equals 36. Those are equations because they have equal signs. You can remember equation as having an equal sign because it sounds like equals at the beginning. As you start to say equation, it sounds like equal. And an expression is a mathematical sentence fragment. It does not have an equal sign like 9 plus 6, 8 times 12, 15 divided by 3. There are no equal signs, they're just expressions. Okay, we can make equations and expressions from words or from word problems, but first we need to know what operations that we use. We need to know the different words that mean a particular operation. For example, addition. Some of the words that can mean addition, or to mean to add, would be sum, total, and all. Then we have subtraction, less, deduct, take away. Those are all words that mean to subtract. For multiplication, we have per and product. Those are words that when we see them, we should know that we need to multiply. And for division, we have equal, split, groups. Those all are words that mean to divide. So what I'd like for you to do is to go ahead and pause the video. On your notes, go ahead and make a table like this with four squares. Put addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in each square. And come up with as many words as you can that mean to add. With as many words that you can that mean to subtract. And then multiply and divide. Once you've finished, go ahead and resume the video. Multiplication and division can be written in multiple ways. Your teacher may have already gone over this with you, so it'll be a review if you have. If you haven't, you're probably familiar with some of the other ways to write multiplication and division. So let's start with multiplication first. We're used to using the X, the symbol X, to represent multiplication. Okay, but as we just talked about, algebra uses variables. They use letters to represent unknown numbers. So one of the letters that they use a lot is X. So we need to get away from using X to represent multiplication. So instead of using the X, we can use the dot. Okay. The dot symbols multiplication. Sometimes you may see a number inside parentheses. You'll see a number on the outside, and then inside you see another number. This operation means multiplication or you may see two different numbers in their own sets of parentheses. This too means to multiply. So these are three new ways to multiply. The dot is probably the most common sign that we're gonna start using. But you should also be familiar with the parentheses. Now let's talk about division. We're used to the division symbol, which we're still gonna use. Sometimes you'll see that backslash, especially if you're like working on a calculator, they have that. But more commonly, what we're going to use is the fraction bar. We all know that that fraction bar means to divide. So this is what you're going to use a lot to represent division is the fraction bar. And you're definitely going to be using it a lot in algebra. So now that we've talked about different words that mean to add, subtract, multiply, and divide, and different ways to write our, our symbols, our operation symbols, let's go ahead and write some expressions. We're going to go ahead and take different expressions and we're going to write a numerical expression for it. Okay, now these are expressions because nowhere in here does it talk about equaling a number. Okay, Ex first example, the sum of 9 and 12. Okay, what is your clue word? What word is going to give you your operation? Well, everybody should know it's sum, and sum means to add. What numbers do we add? We're going to add the 9, and we're going to add the 12. So our expression, we just put it together, and we get 9 plus 12. 
The next example is 20 less 5. What is our clue word that tells us our operation? It is less. Less means to subtract. So we're going to subtract 5 from 20. So our expression would be 20 minus 5. The third example is the product of 12 and a number x. Okay, what is our clue word for our operation? It's product, and product means to multiply, and I used a dot to represent multiplication. What is it that we're multiplying? Well, we know we're multiplying 12, but what is the other number? Well, it tells us a number x. We don't know what the number is. It's a variable. We're using a variable. So we're going to multiply 12 times the variable x. So your expression would look like this, 12 times x. Or you could write it without the dot and just have 12x. That also means multiplication. And the quotient of 15 and 5. Quotient is our clue word. It means to divide. And what are the numbers that we're dividing? 15 and 5. Okay, this is where a lot of confusion sometimes comes in. The actual expression is 15 divided by 5. Some people may flip it, especially if maybe it was a larger number, maybe it was 15 and 30. Then a lot of people would say 30 divided by 15, and that would be wrong. When you're reading the problem, the quotient of 15 and 5, the first number is what's being divided. So 15 divided by the second number no matter if the second number is larger or smaller. So be very careful on that one. And then our last example is 5 less than a number n. Less than is our clue. It means to subtract. Okay, now it's not 5 minus a number n or 5 less a number n. It's 5 less than a number n. We're not told what this number is. We're just told to use the variable n. So our expression would be n minus 5. 5 is less than n, so you take it away from n. n minus 5, not 5 minus n. Be very careful on that one. Okay, let's talk about writing some equations. Our first one is 12 more than a number is 22. 12 more than a number is 22. Okay, what is our clue word? More than. More than means to add. Okay. And look what we have this time. We have the word is. Is 22. That is, it means equals. That is our equal sign. That word is our clue word for equals. We know whatever we're doing is going to equal 22. So what exactly are we doing? Well, we're taking 12, oops, more than, or adding, a number. We don't know the number. We're not told the number. So we need to assign a variable. Sometimes it will tell us the variable. It'll say a number n, or a number x, or a number t. In this case, it doesn't, so you can assign whatever letter, whatever variable you want. And I'm going to go ahead, whoops, I'm going to go ahead and assign x. So 12 plus x equals 22. That is our equation. 12 plus x equals 22. Okay, let's try the next one. 5 less than 15 is 10. Let's identify our equal sign. Our equal is is. And our other clue word is less than. Less than means to subtract. Is it 5 minus 10? No. Remember, less than means that 5 is less than this 15. So the equation would be 15 minus 5 equals 10. The product of 2 and 4 equals 8. Here, our equal sign, the clue word is equals. And our other clue word is product. Product is going to tell us to multiply. What are we multiplying? The 2 and the 4. So 2 times 4 equals 8. That would be our equation. 
And the last example, the quotient of n and 7 is 3. Is is our equal sign. And quotient is our clue word. Quotient means to divide. So we're going to divide n and 3. Remember what I said before on the expressions. Whatever is listed first is what's being divided. n is listed first. So our answer is going to be, or our equation is going to be n divided by 7 equals 3. If you need to stop the video, rewind it, go back, and go over the writing expressions and writing equations, now is a good time to do so. Otherwise, go ahead and turn the page. This right here is going to be your homework check. You're going to go ahead and write expressions or equations. They're kind of mixed up. Look for the, the clue word is, and that will be your equations, your equal sign. Go ahead and write expressions and equations for these words, word phrases. Write them on your own piece of paper, and then tomorrow in class you can check your answers.